All right, in this video, I'm gonna do a kickback animation for my pistol. So when I shoot, pow, pops up. Let's shoot our dummy. Come on, dummy. Boom, pretty cool. Let's get started with that. All right, so I'm gonna use this simple pistol I did from the last video in the playlist. I'll put this link in the description if you wanna follow along exactly. You know, go ahead and click on it. This will be green, and then it'll say get. You can click that. I obviously have it, right, because I built it. And then go to a fresh world, go to toolbox, and then under inventory, the second tab, you might have marketplace, go to inventory, my models, and I'm gonna have to search for it. Um, let's say simple gun. There we go, has scripts. Cool, yeah, two scripts. I did it, I know that it's there. All right, there's my gun. And now I want to put a, a dummy in there. What do you call it? A, a rig. Build rig. There we go. R15, because my characters are R15. If your game has R6, pick R6, right? So I'll do mesh rig. Sure. And there he is. Cool. Let's move the pistol in the dummy so he has some visual effects when we do our animation. Let's go to animation editor. And then if we click on this guy, there we go. It's going to say create an animation to start. I'll call this kickback. And then go to these three dots, hit the three dots, set animation priority. Oh, I know that these are cut off down here. That's okay. We only need action. I'm only using movement and then action. I'm not using these new ones down there, but that will be fine. Action will be fine. Now I'm going to save this. And then we go over to our dummy in anim saves you will see your kickback. We're not gonna use it from there though. We're gonna do it a publish to Roblox. We're gonna use the animation ID. All right, now when you pick up a gun, when you pick up a pistol or a tool, any tool, your hand is up. So that's where we're gonna start, all right? And then I'm gonna keep it up for a second after the animation plays, not a full second, just a very small piece of a second. If we look at this timeline right here, I have this in seconds frames. So it's zero all the way up to here. That's my first second. And then I have it, if we check this little cog here, and then if you want to change it, I'm in seconds frames, and then I have 30 frames a second. So 15 frames is going to be a half a second right there, right? But this is going to be a short animation. So right, I don't know, maybe like here, maybe I'll go here. I'm going to copy, copy selected, paste here, paste keyframes, and that's just going to hold that position a very split second before the animation plays, just so it looks like a kickback from the gun. You don't want the kickback to happen before the bang, right? Then we're going to pop up, let's move the timeline here, or the scrubber bar here on our timeline. We're going to pop this up, one, two. I moved it up 30 degrees. And then move this out to maybe almost a half second. My cooldown is going to be a half second. That's 16, uh, what is it? 15 frames. I'll just get this first start one, copy it, copy selected, and then paste it right there. Now we play it. That's pretty good. I like that. Let's go ahead and hit these three dots. Then I'll do a save again, just in case I want to modify it. It's in the dummy. Remember, you always have to do is click on the dummy. Maybe load, see load, you'll see it, kick back. But right, right now we're gonna to publish to Roblox. So we get our animation ID. It's called kickback, I'll keep it kickback. We'll do submit, boom, that's the ID we need. Click on it. Now remember, you have to do this under your account or if you're using Team Create, you're gonna get a creator ID. People under the Team Create can use it. You can't use this number right here. You have to do your own animation. It won't work otherwise. Cool. Let's go to our pistol. And on the pistol, hit the plus. I'm going to hit an A for animation. Right? And then let's put that number in there. Control V. Hit the enter. And then we get the RBX asset ID prepended so we can access this from Roblox. I'm going to call my animation kickback just so I don't get confused in case I have 
multiple animations, like a reload or something, right? And now, let's go to our local script on the pistol. It's called shoot. Let's open that up. I'm going to close this so I have more room. And then I'll do a couple variables. I want to do a cooldown, and I want the, the kickback track. I don't need to do a variable here for kickback track, but I think I will. Let's do the kickback and the kickback track. So the kickback itself is the animation. Script.parent colon wait for child kickback. There it is. And now I'll make a variable for the track in case I want to access it in other places in this script. Currently I'm not doing that, but we'll say kick track. That's the track for the kickback animation. Let's just say nil. All right, and now I need a variable for a debounce for can sh if I can shoot or not, whether I'm in cooldown mode or not. So I'm going to say can shoot. We're not going to start out in cooldown, so we'll start out with it true. And I'll say cooldown. This is going to be the cooldown time, 0.5 seconds. Make it whatever you want, All right? But we don't have a GUI to tell us that it's in cooldown yet, so I wouldn't make it too long until you do that. All right, now on my on equip, I do my player stuff, mouse stuff, connection here when I pick up, when I equip my weapon. So I might as well follow suit with that. I'm going to get a character. And I know I can get the character from the tool, but I can also get the character from the player. So player.character or player.character added. Wait, you can do either. All right, once we've got the character, then we get a humanoid. Right, that's on the character. Wait for child. Humanoid, make sure you spell that right. And then we need to get our track, right? The kick track. That's our kickback animation track. Hume animator load animation. Kickback. So if you're putting this on NPCs, make sure there's an animator on the humanoid. All right, sometimes there's not. Uh, let's see what else. That's good. That's good. We're cool with that. Let's go over to, up to, activated. That's when you do a click, right? When you're equipped and you do a click, it's going to go boom. So I'll say, if can shoot, then we will shoot. Remember, this is shooting. This is going to our damage script on the server script, right? But before that, when I go ahead and shoot, I'm going to say can shoot will be false. Then I'm going to do my kick track play. Then I'm going to do my cooldown. Wait, cooldown. Then I'm going to do can shoot after the cooldown will be reset to true and all will be good. All right, let's try it. Oh, you know what? We got to put it in. It's on our dummy. Let's put it in our starter pack. Stop it. There's our pistol. Let's go ahead and close it. Let's drag it on down to starter pack. Cool. Let's play. I'm trying to get this under 10 minutes. There we go. Oh, too much of a delay. Actually, that's not too bad. That was, that was the first one. Should we modify it? I think we should. I think we should. Even if it's not under 10 minutes. All right, so we're waiting too long here. Let's drag this down. Tighten that up a little bit. Yeah, that's better. Now, we don't want to have to change anything like our IDs. So I'll save this. Then, notice you don't need the gun in the hand to do the animation. I'm going to go to Published Roblox. I'm going to go overwrite existing asset. And then you can see I did a few of these. This is the one we did for the video. Click it, submit. Now it's the same ID, so you don't have to update anything. This will work. Let's go to home. Let's get rid of that. Let's play. Pick up our tool. Let's take a look at our errors, if we have any. Whoops. Boom. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. All right. 
So I will see you in the next video. Maybe we could put a little flash on there, maybe a little gooey or something for bullets.